Takashi69 has finally released his third new song since being released from prison, Yaya. After he released his two new songs first, Gooba and Trolls, both of those songs went incredibly viral. They broke records. Gooba broke a YouTube record and Trolls even went number one. And now Yaya is expected to do better than both of those songs, mainly because it is in Spanish and he will get a lot more attention from his Spanish viewers. But either way, all three songs are planning to go extremely viral and break records. And many rappers are not happy about 6 9 still having a career. They're not happy that he's getting so much attention on his new songs. And many of them have had very negative things to say about 6 9 which is what we will show you in today's video. So stay tuned. You will not want to miss these reactions. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you liked 6 9s new song, Yaya. And if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, one thing about 6 9 is he's actually a marketing genius. You might not have known this, but he's able to do this because of the way of how good he is at trolling. If you've ever paid attention, Right before 6 9 is about to release a new song, he always jumps on live and he starts going at other rappers and stirring the pot. This makes him more enemies and gets him more hate, but it also brings him so much more attention and actually is a really smart marketing tactic because it makes 6 9 trending before his songs release. It brings that much more attention and gets him that many more views. Before Yaya, 6 9 has been going at a lot of rappers. If you did see his Instagram live video right before he released Trolls, he went very, very hard at a lot of rappers. One of them was Meek Mill. Meek Mill has been going back and forth with 6 9 after Takashi basically attacked Meek Mill for hanging out with someone who has been wearing hidden wires and has been working with the feds. Meek Mill has also had a lot of things to say about 6 9 but one thing he made very clear is that 6 9s music is super trash. He's had a lot to say about him via Twitter, and this back and forth is actually going to continue going on a lot longer, and the back and forth could get more serious, especially now that Academics has jumped in and started attacking Meek Mill. You know Meek Mill is going to fire back at both of them, and the back and forth is going to continue, and it definitely does not help that Nicki Minaj jumped on a song with Takashi and basically threw some shots at Meek Mill also. It just is another win for Takashi, and it makes Mil Meek Mill look like he's taking the L again. 6 ix 9 also went at Snoop Dogg with the same energy after showing documents and a video of Suge Knight exposing that Snoop Dogg was a snitch back in the day. Snoop Dogg did have some things to say back. Rat boy, you really better leave me alone. I ain't the one. No way. No way. Go on and do your shit. And get out my way, bitch. Another one was NLE Choppa. NLE Choppa has been voicing his opinion for a while on 6 9 He did throw some shade on 6 9 in one of his songs, Stick By My Side. And he is one rapper who is getting very annoyed with the attention that 6 9 is getting. He decided to use this situation to his advantage though. He's promoting his own music by voicing his opinion on Twitter, saying that he better get more love than a rat on his new song. Obviously, that's not happening because right now 6 9 is the most trending rapper in the game. Gucci Man also decided to jump in and voice his opinion after tweeting that he hopes all rats die from coronavirus in 2020. Although he, didn't, he did not mention 6 9s name directly, he made it pretty clear who that shot was directed at. 6 9 fired back on some comments, basically saying that Gucci fell off, and right there, it's kind of left at that. See, I ain't drive my location. I ain't got to relocate because my car here, I ain't snitched on nobody. Future was also a part of 6 9s trolling attack, but Future seems to be on a different vibe. He's just one rapper who decided not to go back and forth. He tweeted that he doesn't speak on people's business. And 6 9 you know 6 9 he feeds off of reactions. So obviously, he kind of wanted Future to react a little differently. But 6 9 did have to get the final word, so he made a comment, said, Alexa, play No Smoke by NBA Youngboy. As you can tell, 6 9 uses social media to his advantage. He creates reactions which just get more eyes on him and in turn end up bringing more eyes on his music. Gooba and Trolls both did extremely well as far as numbers go. Having Nicki Minaj on Trolls definitely helped it that much more. Nicki did receive some negative attention from working with 6 9 and she did lose some respect from a few rappers who did not agree with it, but she joined 6 9 on live and kind of addressed the situation. 
basically saying that 6 ix beef is his own, and she also told other rappers not to be hypocrites, saying that street life is separate from rapping. So the fact that 6 9 still has cosigns in the industry is just another win for him, but it is surprising to some of us, but it just makes the people that much more upset, especially rappers. So many rappers are upset at 6 9 and now that he went number one with Trolls, it makes it so much worse because he continues to take the dub. And now Yaya is expected to do very, very well. They did try and stop Yaya from getting views. They did put an age restriction on it the first day it was released, but they did recently take that off. So you could assume that the views on that video are going to skyrocket. It's expected to be an even bigger hit than Gooba and Trolls, mainly, like I said before, because it's in Spanish. So it's going to get him that many more views. An example is Bebe because that is his one song on YouTube that has 1 billion views mainly due to it being in Spanish, so you could expect Yaya to promote the same energy and go just as viral over time. But with all of this, so far we have seen that 6 9 still is getting more hate than he is love, and a lot of rappers are going to continue to go at 6 9 and the more that 6 9s music blows up, and the more that he gets attention, and the more he trends, he's only going to promote his social media trolling even more, and he's off of house arrest very, very soon which means he will be let go of a lot of restrictions and you can only imagine that once he's completely off the hook and has no restrictions, he is going to go back to his old ways and he is going to troll harder than ever and we can already assume that there's going to be so many more back and forths with so many more rappers. So over time, we will have to wait and see how things play out after this song peaks, but we will keep you updated on any more drama, any more negative things the rappers have to say and any more beefs that 6 9 starts. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know what you think about his new song, Yaya. So comment your opinion on it down below. I liked it. I liked the video. I'm a fan of 6 9 to be honest. So if you did like it, leave a like on this video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.